Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Green Wing. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. We started the show last week. We got an introduction to all the characters, or a decent introduction to kind of like know what the personalities and stuff are like. And as I mentioned in the last episode, the kind of slowing down and speeding up was a bit of a distraction. But I can't remember exactly what somebody said, but either it's going to get better or something I'll just get used to. And we'll see. We'll see as it, as it goes along. I don't know. R right now, I don't have a whole lot to say about it, except for it just felt more like a distraction. And I had a similar experience with Peep Show in the beginning with the way it was shot, then I acclimated to it. So I, I'm assuming I'm going to acclimate to it here. And I think I mentioned this in the last episode, there's probably was never a problem for anybody else. People probably laughed at it right away and thought the speeding down and slowing up was like a great thing and something innovative or unique when you watch the show. And I don't know, something about it felt familiar, but also distracting at the same time. Almost like I've seen the speeding up thing before, or maybe just because I've seen it in movies where people did it for action sequences and stuff like that, which I don't mind when people slow stuff up and speed it down. But it felt like it just was being used a lot and it became more of a distraction for me. But I say this time and time again, the first episode, you really can't judge it because they're finding their footing and all that type of stuff. And same thing with like the character development and all that stuff because sometimes the characters start off one way and then it's almost like they just forgot what the character's supposed to be and it's a completely different character down the line. That's happened in shows as well where like, this isn't working, let's just completely swap in. Almost like hope nobody remembers, that happens as well. Or it's a whole person swap out you just never, and they plan the same character. That happens a lot here in the States with shows. I say a lot, I think it's happened like four times that I can think of. But yeah, man, um, I'm, either way, I'm looking forward to continuing the show. I look forward to jumping into it. So let's go and jump into it. We'll talk about it more at the old end. That's the only thing that went down. Joanna? No. Joanna? No. Joanna, will you, why, why? Why do I think that there's a rigmarole every time it's ludicrous? Because they're the rules, Alan. I can't possibly be seen with you. Now get out. Ridiculous. Come on, get out, out, out. I took the bitch home. I took the bitch home. I took the bitch home last night. I took the bitch home. <laughs> bitch, what? bitch, bitch. I wasn't at your flat last night, okay? Okay, and nothing happened. No, right? nothing did happen. Well, you say so. That's... Yeah, I do say so. I say so because it is, in fact, a statement of fact. Hey. Let's do. Oh, right. Well, this is the. No, uh... you want in. I'll, I'll, I'll just check it out. Um, shit. Oh, oh. oh shit. Um, oh, shut up. Shut up. What a good bath. Noisy. She's my secret lover, the thing that there's... This life is chaotic. A lot of people sniping. It's not really going him. I mean, he could add to it, but that's oh, yeah. that's all. Did you come together? So, did you catch your prey? Can't say. Why not? She told me not to divulge any details. Ah, oh, so you did catch her. I've been sworn to secrecy. By who? By Caroline Todd. Oh, damn! No. You bastards! Oh, you just too. Caroline, what? Because you have. Oh, I see. You think she's lovely, don't you? No, I don't. She's only been here a day. She's the woman of your dreams. Shut up. Yeah, well, dream on, mate. Because she's hooked. Hooked, played, and safely in today afternoon. Oh, I'm fine. Please, thank, thank you very much for asking. Um, did you sleep well? Yes, like a log. Oh, the loo's completely clear now, by the way. <laughs> what, what loo? Yeah, what loo? Bringing up logs. <laughs> Her panic jabber is expecting people to think it actually happened. How's the liaison going? Sorry. Anything I should know about? Oh. <laughs> like goop ass. He's just like, I don't have cooties up but a chest to give us or something. Ah, uh, revision. Well, I always hide the yogurt in the in the perspex drawer at the bottom of the fridge. Mm -hmm. They come in, they move it to the top drawer where the milk and the ordinary yogurt is. Jesus Christ! Just put dear cleaners and hope they don't take it as some sort of sexual advance. Okay. okay. What? Well, now underline the word please. Oh, oh no. no. Please leave her. Sound really angry now. Mm. 
See, what they're going to do to my yoghurt now, they're probably pissing it like they did in that restaurant. Which what? restaurant? Oh. Um, th there wasn't a restaurant. They won't piss. In touch with his feminine side, considering his middle name is Valerie. His middle name's not Valerie. Oh, yeah, I swear it is. Mac told me and he's seen his passport. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yes, roll on lunchtime. Girl's name's Gags. A go-go. <laughs> Valerie. Valerie. Not on this occasion, no. Please be seated. No, thank you. Uh, what do you want to see me about? Uh, this is my office. Uh, please be seated for our discussion. I'd like us to be at the same eye level. It creates easy, flowing conversation. Mm. You could stand if you want. You sit. You stand. You, you sit. No. Look, look, this kind of insubordination is precisely the reason you were, you were overlooked for promotion last Wednesday. Right. Uh, and, and as a result, get out. I'll okay. discuss this with you later when you're less... Handsome. No, le less... Charming. Less sitting. Get out. Don't wait till you sit down and bust back in. Shred these before you want to see them. How are things going with Tim? Well, it's just. Don't worry, you'll find someone else. I suppose your face is not that furry. I can't see it. Touch it. No, I need another perspective. I just said downy. I think a lot of people are shaving their peach fuzz off now, using that. What's it called when they put powder on their face, something like that, just so you can see it and they shave it? Yes. Late skin, Harriet. Too much. Cool. All in good time, little man. All in good time. Right. Um, has anybody handed in any yogurt? In a pot? Yeah. No. It's just that I food at all. Satsuma, two curly willies, and some kind of Bombay mix, which is uh, far spicier than I really like it. Huh? Much too uh, hot. Oh, God. What a night. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a bit stiff. A few aching, uh, probably a little bit of a groin strain. Oh, yeah. Oh, and oh, oh, an aching tongue. Kind of my staff working with aching. Yeah. You are essentially part of my team. What? I'm not part of your team. You are part of my fucking what team. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not part of your you team. You are part of my team. You're part of my anus. You are like the unprofessional co-pilot that causes a massive aeroplane disaster because he has no real sense of his true position. Why? You're too late to see I win! Why? You're, you're the baby, I'm the placenta. Sorry, sorry. Could, I, could I get some more nuts? Yeah, please? yeah, well, you can't I'm, use mine because they're all... I'm trying to fly They're my squeezed plane. out, they're juiced out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Clean the toilet. They've been... Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We're all part of his team, apparently. Thank you very much. Everything should be pretty straightforward this morning, except for the bits that are pretty straight backward. Uh, what can I tell you? A few ground rules. No bombing, no running, no pet him. OK, let's go. Let's see if we can find this. I'm an excellent swimmer, if you must know. Yep. Do you know what, Guy? We have moved on. Yeah, I can uh, swim two miles easy. No problemo. Mm -hmm. I can do the butterfly, which... Down, because I was only playing my insecure little friend. <laughs> yeah, that doing his job at all. Yeah, actually, I'm not insecure. I'm very secure. Very, very secure. Imagine. Do you feel like you were walking around with a big neon sign saying, clueless twat? No. No, I meant finding your way around. It's a big building. It's hard to get your bearings. Oh, poor you. Yeah, well, it hasn't helped half the hospital, assuming I jumped into bed with the first man I set eyes on. I know, Which hideous. I didn't. You mean, like, in a, like a literal sense. I mean, between me and men. Man, one man. Yeah, I know. He's all over the place. Diabetic. Aren't, aren't you going to eat that? Uh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to use it for a bit of juggling practice first. They love it in the children's ward. Morning, Dr. Stegan. Morning. Good morning, Mark. I um, wondered if I could just pick your brains for a minute. Could it wait? Well, it's just, uh, you know, I've got some students later on and... Uh, just wanted to run something past you. Look cool, is that good? Does it sort of float out the back when I when I go around um, with, with, with a sense of contained urgency yet stylish elan? Tell you what, Alan. Why don't you go back to where you came from and try yes. working with a sense of um, what was it?
confused. Can I just say one thing? Yes, you can. I don't know what you're talking about. And always check your facts. Good day. There's two things. Three, if you count the valedictory flourish. Seem to hit a bit of a nerve. Can I go and cut people up now? Yes. Excellent. Try and get some sleep. It's always and at all times I'm here to soothe the babies go? to listen to the workers' woes. Now, do I sense a war, sense I do? Well, yeah, I am a bit worried, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I would be if I were you. Why, what do you mean? Nothing. What? Oh, Caroline, Caroline. Can you stop saying my name, please? Do you know about last night? I'm sure everybody knows. Oh, God, that's a disaster. And I'm sure nobody knows. Oh, you know? Yes, well, of course, I know. I know everything. That's my job. But how? Yeah. What did you all say? Smoking loads of sperm count. May cause miscarriage. <laughs> take that back. No, nope. take it back. Nope. If I've got to stand up, things are really going to kick off here. I can stand up quicker than you. I could put a spell on you. To... You're not. You should believe in spells. to claim sexual relations with Dr. Todd, then I know you didn't, so don't bother. Uh, oh, you know, do you? How do you yeah. know? Yeah, well, I happen to have had a little heart-to-heart -heart with Caroline. That's how I know. Already? She's only been here a day and a half. Women are like that guy. We bond easily. Well, that's working for me, that image. Keep... No one is immune to my charm, and... Yes, um, now I know what she wants. Thanks to you, I can just give it to her, can't I? Yeah, well, that's just it. You're not capable, are you? We shall see. One of interest. What does long term mean to you? It's an airport. Hufflepuff. Oh, bad luck. I'm Gryffindor. Very chuffed about that. That makes two of us in Gryffindor? I'm Wimbledink. What? What? Spumpty Bum. I haven't read the book. It's really bad. It's where the most evil wizards and witches have come from. It's the worst house there is. Can I change it? No, you cannot. The decision of the sorting hat is final. You cannot go again. <laughs> this is jackasses. Is where I was last night. Caroline, you weren't supposed to tell anybody. It wasn't me. Are you sure? You know how one little post leads to another. You are very, very irritating. Yes, you are. And you know what you should do you with an irritation? You though. should rub it with cream. I think I'd prefer to... Myself, spend the entire night on the sofa. I can't sign this. It would leave my reputation in tatters. Yeah, what about my reputation? Uh, enhanced. You ensnared the legendary Guy Secretan on day one. How cool is that? I know something I shouldn't. Yeah. About you. Really? Middle name. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't my fault. I just sort of stumbled on the information. What do you know? And I can understand why you're embarrassed about it and why you wouldn't want to tell anybody. Oh, God. You've been talking to Sue Wong. We had the very briefest of encounters, and any stories she may be spreading will... Val have no fury like a woman scorned. Did you scorn her? Yeah, well, I, I, yes, I called it a day. Yeah, one day. One night. You... Yeah. You what? expose yourself, Not brother. Thing. No, I only had some, frankly, rather weak stuff regarding your middle name. Mm, nope, definitely didn't know the Sue White thing. You again, oh. pig, brother. I do now. I am much younger than I look. Yeah, do you want me to sign it here or here? Well, they're saying, like, don't stop the enemy I'm when signing, they're making a mistake. Look, what, <laughs> see how I sign. <laughs> it's a pervert. Ooh, signy, signy, sign, sign. I've signed it. You, uh, you wanted to see me. Oh, yes, of course. Silly me. Uh, got lost in your eyes there for a minute. I was about to say, but the powers that be <clears throat> have issued a memo and it falls to me to pass on that information. I see. It's about your hair. Yep. What about my hair? Well, they, they think it's too long. I, on the other hand, don't think it's long enough for, I'm, for hygiene. Well, you know, I was thinking that uh, perhaps I could give it a trip. Yeah, no, 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 no. OK, should we leave that to the professionals? Yeah, well, as you wish. Is that all? For now. OK. 
the grower. That is fantastic. Thanks very much. No, no, not that. That's just weird. This. What? That. Oh, wow, that's brilliant news. That is great news. It's, it's actually must have forced him. Yes, no, oh, good for Caroline. See, she's she's powerful in her own way, do you know what I mean? She's, she's strong, yet she's... Yeah, and the bastards are still saying that I mistreated the fabric of the course, that club equipment was damaged, not true, and that I broke the basic etiquette of golf, like a bloody balloon. Look at her, look at her. Oh, yeah. I thought she was having a nightmare. She is having a bloody nightmare when you <laughs> was her anaesthetist. I was like, what is that for? Like a... So do I call you Caroline or... Like CPR? Most do, apart from patients and my parents. Things I should know about? Nah, well... What? Well, no, it's just at school, that's all, not uh, anymore. School nicknames are great. Go on, tell me. Mm. <laughs> mm. Just, well... My name's Martin, and, um, as you know, and, Martin. um... Like at school, they used to call me... <laughs> yes. I mean, it wasn't derogatory or anything, it was just literary reference to, to Dickens. You were called Tip Brain. Mm, but, I mean, yeah, in an affectionate kind of way. You know what I mean, they, they, they loved me, you know? it's just, hey, Tip Brain, you know, it's, just, it's not. Right. See, so complete pain in the arse. You are very fortunate to be in the skilled hands of Dr. Secretan today. He's an extremely professional man and not, in fact, a reckless tit end or anything like that. She's fine. If I manage six years, what is your personal best? I think it was six hours. A little bit unfair. Sometimes they get tea in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and boys. We're going to look at the diagnostic benefits of Ford. Very boring, do you, Mr. Boyce? It's not at all, not at all. Just your choice of name. Patient X. I, I think it would be really helpful if we gave her a proper name. All right, everybody. Shall we make it easier for Mr. Boyce? Mm. Let's give our lovely patient here. Mm. Yes, it's a, it's a beautiful name, and that, and, and that is why it is, it is inappropriate. Why? Because it doesn't look like Joanna. Uh, uh, any, any Joanna. Well, oh, I think it does. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Look, let's put it to the vote, OK? Who here <laughs> thinks we should call her Joanna? In some cases, it, it would be a meal, but more usually um, an enema. Right, so she takes it orally as well, does she? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, and, but, but as I say, this is an, 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 an enema. Joanna takes it up the bottom. Stop that. I'm just taking notes. Stop it! Well, you always said we should take notes. Can I, uh, can I have a word? <laughs> yes! Um, excuse me. He already get in trouble for assault when he they, they, like, pushed over a girl too hard. Teasing me. It was of a donor heart. Yes, yeah, so? So, what they actually yogurt. received was a three megabyte digital photo of a Fruits of the Forest yogurt and yeah. the words hands off. Well, yeah, they sent me a really caustic email actually, so what do they expect? You do realise that a man has died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Have I killed someone? Just say yes or no. Yeah, 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 Guy, just tell me, did I kill someone? Tell the truth. Radio 3. But, uh, I'm not sure this is an appropriate moment. There, was, there might be a concerto in, in B minor or a little fugue just waiting for. It's like a computer oh, yes. game. I can. I can hear Bartok's music for strings, yeah, percussion, no, 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 and it's Puccini. Puccini. The hell is this gonna be? <laughs> Both of them are weird. <laughs> Gotta kiss that. You sleeping on a sofa? Yes, well, you don't want to believe everything you read on notice boards, mate. <laughs> I think you do. And mate? Yeah, well, in that case, I'm forced to believe that Puss in Boots, the chemist, will be an hilarious evening's entertainment and bargain at five pounds a ticket. I'm going to see that, actually. <laughs> well, I spoke to Holly yesterday. Oh, yeah. Holly who? The one you spent six years with? This one came around with Pig. Oh, I'm supposed to do with that. The way he did it. Accepted. How's some other news? Yeah, what's that? She accidentally mowed down 50 people with a machine gun because they were standing in the way of her career. It's not totally out of character, but I'm, I, I expect it was still quite a hard decision. She's for getting her. married. Really? Ow! Ow! Oh. Yeah. 
just to uh, let you know, that new Dr. Todd is quite something. Oh, do you know what? You come in here every week with your sordid little tales. But I know whatever you're doing, whoever you're doing. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Yeah, that is one. La, la, la. La, 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 la. La, la, la. La 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 Can I have a quick word? Zoom and whoosh. They are quick words. Words that are... My dear, so just to clarify, I did stay at Guy's, but nothing happened. I was going to book into a hotel. Can I stop you there? He doesn't care. So if anyone mentions it, if that offends you, if it bothers you, then I apologise. Staff at your previous hospital might have found you totally fascinating. I don't. Damn, dude. If anything, that's an increase in the rudeness. Ooh, ooh, I hope uh, nobody starts gossiping about me, because I'd hate to be the centre of attention. That is not fair. I don't care. Soap operas said in hospitals, don't you think? What? I don't need this. You're the drunk. I can't look. I know I should be picking someone up or dropping someone off. OK. Oh, deep breath. No need to panic. Right, um, Oscar is with the nanny until 4 o'clock, and then he's getting collected. Lost! <gasps> Shit, I can't believe I've lost Robbie. Oh, my God. Calm down. He'll be on here somewhere. Oh, we'll it's just... Find him. Well, sometimes I lose track of them. I can't believe I've lost Robbie. Yeah, we'll find him. <laughs> Your friends with Mac and Dear. God. Hey, oh, I'm so glad I caught you. Speak of the devil. Me? No. Apparently, it's not just me you've treated despicably. You've got previous form. Um, now seems like you're uh, some sort of deranged madman. A top notch doctor. Oh, um, as for my previous form, well, I mean, I think you know better than most that rumours aren't always to be believed. <laughs> and, you know, I think we've all made mistakes in the past. Started a relationship. Was it that lodging or something? I'll see you whenever. Is she gonna fall for that? He was, of course. Remembered. It's better than good. Oh. And I took three morning after real. pills to try and flush him out, but it doesn't mean I don't love him, does it? <laughs> He's just blinky. Oh, poor kid. This really is very kind of you. Well, it's on the way home, so... Uh, well, um, you just, I guess you plug it in, put your feet in here. No, no, get... about Guy. Oh, Guy. Yeah. Um, well, he's an anaesthetist. Yep. Yeah. Uh, his name's Swiss. Yeah, yeah, you see... You, you should avoid him. Well, he, he, I shouldn't say this because he's a good mate of mine, but um, it's just that, uh, thinking about it, there are other doctors who work in, in the hospital um, who... Yeah. Quite a lot. Yeah, well, that'll be it then. Yeah, no, I've been all over. France, uh, Boulogne, Paris. Yeah, it might be time to travel now, homewards. Oh, OK. Um, actually, um... Um, I would just like to say, uh, take this opportunity to say a, 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 few, a few special words to, um, Joanna Yardley Claw. We've been in intimate, Claw. <laughs> nevertheless, uh, in this age of casual like chlamydia and, and, uh, and, and so forth, it's, it seems a rather old-fashioned notion, and, and that's why um, I'd like to say those um, those three special words. Yeah, she doesn't want to say words, but what, 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 what do you think? She about to break it off. Can we turn the music up? <laughs> <laughs>
somehow give you <clears throat> a bit of guy's natural prowess with women. Maybe a pheromone transplant, something like that. You know how the Vikings used to get their fearsome fighting powers from eating hallucinogenic mushrooms? So? So, well, the senior Vikings would eat the mushrooms, then the next level down would drink their... So... So the Vikings, remember? Why well, drink your urine and become a Viking? Oh, I'd get a girlfriend. Drink my pee, pull like me. <laughs> These are terrible. They are yeah, all right. You're a bitch. Yeah, you've got to watch out for him. He's after your man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Do, Who threw that you kid? Come? You're gonna approach a woman right away. It's one like this. Right. I'll have to bag me a woman. Bro, if you don't drink some beer or something. If you're on the rules, oh, I know the rules. Hand and back. No hands. Oh, no. You put that away. Man, like the fact that like he went and got it from a dead body, well from the pathology lab, I have to get it from a dead body. And, ugh, I don't know. All around is gross, but just maybe when he said he got it from a dead body, it's maybe even worse. And he believed it. I even like the face that he made, like he was, he can believe how easy it was to convince this guy to drink some piss because he's so desperate to ask somebody out. I thought he was about to approach a woman right there with piss breath for a moment. Ugh. And I thought with her doing the whole, like she said, there's a few people lingering who believe that she did sleep with them. I thought her making the whole letter thing was just going to make people believe it even more. Because if it was, if it was a lie that he told, it even trying to reveal itself that it's a lie. But if you're going through all this effort to make letters, to get people to sign stuff and force them to do a thing, it just kind of solidifies his story because like you're trying to cover it up as much as possible. And because you're trying to actively cover it up, it seems like you may have done it, if that makes sense. And that's what the route I thought was going to go. But not really, just a few people were remaining that still did, still believe that it was going on. Still know that the lady's deal. I think she's just put there to be an eyeball. One who, I don't know what her job is. I don't know if she's HR or whatever, but the one who was doing the breast competition inside the bathroom with the other lady. They're all odd, but she's just super off. Kind of like, uh, what's his, uh, it's not Richmond, is it? Yeah, I think Richmond from the server room and I see crowd, like, hey, he's just an eyeball the entire time. An eyeball amongst eyeballs, like the craziest person amongst crazies. And it seems like she's unable to sleep with the doctor now because he was, it seemed like he did a decent job convincing her that he's a decent person by getting her to give, listen to like the small things like her saying she has hard toenails to get her the foot thing. He's going to end up sleeping with her for real. And look, of course, it's all an act. He really doesn't care, doesn't want a serious relationship. Uh, but yeah, I think she's going to fall for it. And I, think I remember taking that the Harry Potter test too. I can't remember if it was on Facebook or what, but I remember was, we did that a while ago. Yeah, it was, it was a while ago. I don't even remember what I was. I was. I want to say I was Hufflepuff, but I don't remember. I don't remember. But it was a long time ago. And I'm just like, I don't remember all the details of the... And it wasn't even that long ago, the Pokemon Go era. It's like, I know you had to pick, like, a school and all that stuff. I don't remember anything I picked. I barely remember that. I remember being obsessed with it at the time, though. And I'm um, being irritated because there weren't, like, really good Pokemon in my area. And people having all these great finds and stuff. Like, the gyms were all churches in my area. So, every church was a gym in my area. Pokemon Go had a, it had a decent run. I know a lot of people played it for a long time, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And I fell off of it before it even got as big as it did. So, maybe it got better. But I barely remember that either. And when there's some, like, like, nicknames and how she said nicknames in school were fun. I had nicknames in school. Like, in high school, those were fine. Like, nicknames when I was in elementary school, those were fine. And they weren't, like, clever or nothing. In high school, people just would call me, like, the flipbook kid. Like, because I would make, like, uh, little animations for flipbooks. And also, I was called Matrix. I, I hated that name because I just wore a leather jacket because I thought they were cool. It was, like, a long one. But it's really because of Angel. I like Angel's leather jacket, so I got one because I'm a goof ass. And when I was in elementary school, it was just, like, the quiet kid. Because I didn't talk, really. I just stayed quiet. as like, the quiet kid. Or, like, people, like, shy guy. That type of stuff. And the only time I got really bad was when I was with Pulaski. When I was went to a different middle school after that, it was completely different. I was right back to, like, you know, just never, barely talking. But at Pulaski, I didn't really talk either. I was very quiet, didn't really talk in school. I would just draw, do my schoolwork and mind my own business. That was one of the worst schools I went to in my life. It was nonstop bullying to the point of, like, danger 
and irritation. The teachers did nothing about it. They just let it happen. And even when they came with my, my nickname, my nickname was Pork Chop, that's what they called me. The teacher laughed at it. She thought it was funny. It was a math class and she put a math thing on, on, on the board and she was using food and groceries as an example. And she said, let's say you get like two packs of pork chops and then everybody started to laugh and it's like, oh, pork chop, getting the pork chops and stuff like that. And it was nonstop. That was all through sixth grade. I couldn't stand that school. And we finally moved. I was like, thank God. Oh, my God. Like, man, I, I hate that school. was awful. That was one of the worst schools I ever went to. If you get a cool nickname, I guess it's good. But most of my nickname was just either generic, where they really didn't mean anything. It's just that people called me something based off my actions, and that was it. And it was like, wasn't bothersome. Because, yeah, that's the thing. But the ones that were bothersome were ones that were just based off my weight when I didn't do anything to anybody. And it was just nonstop. And nonstop jokes, nonstop bullying, and then a teacher would be like, "Oh, you, I think you could do better than this. I'm not sure why you struggled on this test." I'm like, "They're like making fun of you throughout the entire class. I couldn't pay attention to the, the test. Like, you didn't tell them to stop. The class was loud, and you let them keep going. Then you say you don't understand. Like, you think I can do better than this? Like, no, dude, that was yeah, it was awful. So yeah, nicknames they usually suck. I guess for some people, nicknames might be a great thing from school, but I don't know. Mine just always been Josh, and then random stuff based off of what I did or like my personality." shy guy or the flipbook kid stuff like that but all around i enjoyed this episode more than the first one people might like the first one a lot more. i don't know but me personally i enjoyed this one a lot more and this room is hot so i'm gonna hit that dusty trail so all right folks that is it that is all for this one hopefully you guys are happy safe and healthy i'll see you in the next one later